Oftentimes when I'm shooting on location, I try to find an interesting background to photograph somebody against. In the case here with Cody, we found an art store not too far from the studio that has some interesting graffiti on the walls. And you can see here by the amount of ambient light that's outside on our video, it's really not dark outdoors. It's probably about five o'clock at night and the sun's just starting to go down. But I, I like to underexpose the ambience and create a little more drama with the flash exposures. So what we did is put an SB900 down on the ground and just bouncing it into a piece of foam core board and create basically a larger light source by doing that. And that bounce light becomes our main for the exposure on Cody. In order to figure out kind of what I want my base exposure to be for the ambience, I'll take a picture of say just the existing environment and look at it and oftentimes underexpose it by a stop, a stop and a half. The second thing we did was added an SB800 on a light stand to illuminate the background. And that, in our first example, uh, kind of lit the wall pretty evenly and it looks okay, but it wasn't really as dramatic as I kind of liked. What we decided to do is take it off and just set it on the ground uh, from below and kind of spotlight that little green goblin guy in the background and that kind of lit up just that area over his shoulder. People will ask me, well, why do you need multiple light sources? If you have one light source for our main, you can see that we've lit Cody up and we have nice lighting on him as our main light and a little bit of fall off onto the background, which it looks okay. But by comparison, when we add a secondary light source in the background and just light up the little guy on the wall, all of a sudden we've created a more dramatic and interesting image. And then we had kind of two light sources firing, one on Cody for the main and one on the background, kind of just moving the background composition around a little bit over either shoulder to see what looks good. People will ask me, well, what's the right exposure? And in advertising photography, we say it's the one that client buys. But uh, when you get started in photography and really what will uh, establish you as a photographer is the way that you see things. And really it just becomes personal preference uh, at the end of the day when you do your edit on what picture you look at and it just feels right to you.